In this video, I'm gonna show you how to make slant routes absolutely unstoppable. Now, in fact, I'm gonna show you probably the best underneath passing concept in Madden 22. So if you are new to the channel, I wanna ask you to go ahead and hit the subscribe button. If you're looking to get better at this game, this channel provides free ways for you to do that through tips and strategies. Also wanna let you know that in this video, we're talking about the New England Patriots playbook. Primarily, we're gonna spend our time focusing on the trip side informations, one of my favorite formations in the game. and what we're going to take a look at in this video, you will need a backfield master ability or a running back apprentice ability or a hot route master ability uh, to be able to run this concept. There is a little bit of a tweak that I'll share with you in the video if you don't have that ability. Um, but I would just advertise really quickly, running back apprentice, super cheap. Hot route master is really not that bad either, but running back apprentice is super, super cheap or backfield master. I guess only one AP on certain archetypes. So it's definitely worth it in my opinion. You can do this from any play in this formation. I personally like to do this out of PA counter go, but you can do it out of any play in the formation. And I also wanna let you know that if you want, if you enjoy the video and you wanna learn more about trips tight end, I've got a full trips tight end ebook in my Patreon membership. If you're watching this and you're not a Patreon member yet, I'd really encourage you to consider becoming one. Um, you're not only gonna get full access to my trips tight end ebook, which I've updated throughout the year, and it's very much so a up-to-date trips tight end ebook, uh, but the cool part about the Patreon that I've done this year is we actually are uh, giving access to you uh, to all of our Madden 22 uh, materials. What I mean by that is we've got 15 offensive and defensive guides that you will get instant access to if you join the Patreon. You'll also get access to all of the updates for those guides as well as any new guides or new updates while your subscription is active. So if you want to sign up for that, it's only $10 a month and it basically guarantees you that you're going to get access to all of my content and all of my eBooks and materials. So if you want to get access to that, there is a link in the description of the video down below and you can click on that if you want to check that out. All right, guys, let's take a look at this concept. I love this concept. I'm going to explain why uh, I really like this. So the first thing I want to say right off the bat is if you are used to this, what we're going to do is we're just going to come out. This is PA counter go, and we're going to set it up just like this, and then we're just going to put the running back outside. Now, this does two things for us. If the linebacker follows him, it tells us that that linebacker is not blitzing. So they, they might be a match or cover two or whatever, but it gives us kind of a tell about what the defense is doing. Also, every now and then, they'll blow a coverage, miss an assignment, and your running back will be wide open down the sideline for a streak. It also serves as probably the best possible pull route in trips tight end, and we still get a six-man protection with the tight end blocking. And what you're going to notice is we're going to get this double team. We can roll out now, and we can hit this little crosser. And as you can see, it's a really, really good little concept uh, for how we're going to do that. That's not what we're gonna do in this video, where it's not a vertical attack. Most of the time when people motion this running back out, however, they're going to motion him out and they're gonna put him on a streak. What I wanna propose in this video is you don't just have to do that. You could do other routes as well. Let me give you a simple example. We could run a concept that basically looks like this. Um, you know, where we take, you know, we take this guy out here and we're running, you know, something like this, like two streaks. So you got, you got seams and then you got a levels concept on the backside with a flat. This is a really good five out little play here. And the cool part about it is, again, it comes to us from that same look. I honestly don't think that people have under, again, whenever you're dealing with a formation, most people don't do all the different motions and stuff. And I'm not saying that you have to in this year's game. I'm just saying it can unlock some stuff that maybe you haven't thought of yet like the concept we're gonna show in this video. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put the running back on a ghost route, we're gonna block our tight end, so that way we have good protection. We're gonna motion that running back outside, and then we're gonna put the outside slot receiver on a flat, the outside receiver on an in route, and the inside slot receiver on a slant. Now the slant is really not our first read. Our first read is to the left side of the field. Can we hit this in route early? No, we can't. Okay, we're gonna come back and now look at the slant, and what you're gonna notice is that this ghost route is probably the perfect route to suck in quarter flat zones. As you saw right there, I'm in a, just a basic cover four drop, and what you're gonna notice is that that quarter flat will sit on him every single time, and it allows this right here to be thrown with a high degree of consistency. Now the cool part about this is it's not just the quarter flat that this is going to do. It's also going to affect the curl flat. So I'm gonna audible to a cover three zone, 
And what you're gonna notice if you take a look here at the right side of the field is this curl flat zone will sit on the running back. He will not move. And as you can see, I'm able to complete that with consistency to that player. Now, what is the number one zone that people are gonna be utilizing in terms of if they're running a Mabel concept and they're trying to put an underneath zone on the field? That zone would be a curl flat zone. So the beauty of this is if they're running a Mabel coverage, even if they have a curl flat in five or 10 yards, this ghost route is going to hold it. And then you're gonna basically be able to pass this to the outside and he's gonna consistently get separation against a curl flat zone. So what it's gonna require people to do is one of two things. They can either try a seam flat, which we'll show you right here. Um, and to illustrate this, we're actually gonna, again, to illustrate primary, the primary piece of this is just isolating these seam flats here. So we're actually gonna spy these guys just to kind of get them out of the way so that you can really watch how the seam flat is gonna to react to this. And then we'll talk about why this is significant. So again, here's your setup. Again, it looks just like this. Notice the safety came out. That tells me it's, you know, whatever, Mike Blitz uh, three pro more than likely. Uh, but anyways, if you take a look here, this is a seam flat zone. Notice that seam flat is going to bail back, but now your ghost route is wide open. The point. They have to use a seam flat. Most people don't. They have to use a seam flat. Most people don't. So let's say, for example, and again, I'm just going to try to give a basic example here. So we're going to put this guy in a deep half. We're going to put this guy in a seam flat um, just to kind of imitate, you know, a, a basic, uh, you know, a basic uh, Mabel concept. And then we're going to do seam flat over here. And again, I just want you to watch the, the motion at, or the, the slant route because their user is going to be forced to basically use the slant route and it's gonna open the middle of the field up. So again, here's your ghost. Watch that seam flat. Obviously I could throw it right there, but I can also wait and notice that my ghost route becomes wide open if I wait on that. The only other zone that they can use uh, to guard, so let's say they're sending you know some heat at you out of this and they're gonna play hard flats. Okay, really good point. So let's say they send some pressure and they're gonna play hard flats. Well, we've got the tight end blocking. So the pressure more than likely will get uh, will get picked up. Well, this hard flat won't won't it won't come uh, it won't go get the 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 slant. It's going to be wide open, okay? And you can do this out of anything, no matter what. Like if they have a hard flat on the field, that's not going to work. The ghost route will will basically be fine unless they put this at a, a zone drop of ten. It's really not going to be there for them. And as you can, I mean, really technically, it's about fifteen yards. But anyway, as you can see, that's very, very good, very, very much so open. And then the last zone that I want to show, and that is a cloud flat. Um, so this is just a, a cloud flat zone. And what's going to happen is you're going to force them to have to kind of run some of that, which is going to open up all sorts of stuff later on in the game for your deep routes. But here's a cloud flat. You see it does kind of bail back. But look, I can just take this and get an easy five yards keep the offense on schedule. Um, the other thing that I have within this concept is spacing. We have perfect spacing from this. So let's say for example, they're running this coverage. What I'll do is I'm looking back over here, right? So I can hit that, why? Because the slant is gonna pull the yellow zones inside and allow me an opportunity to hit outside. Typically, they're not gonna play a curl flat on one side and a, and a cloud flat on another side. Another quick piece and something I wanna note about a curl flat defender is a curl flat defender, when you have a flat route from Miller and an in route from Evans, the curl flat defender on that side will get sucked in, allowing you to just throw that flat and get an easy five to 10 yards every single time. So really your progressions, if you think about it, you're gonna to look to the flat first, then you're gonna to look to the in route, then you're going to look to the slant and then you're looking to the ghost. So you're going flat, nope, in, nope, oh, but I can see that flat is open out of the corner of my eye. Pass lead that up, and you see we get 11 yards. This is entirely meant to be an underneath call, an underneath spacing style of play, but it's very, very good against the blitz. Why? Because the tight end's gonna pick up every pressure in the game. Pretty much the tight end will guard everything or pick everything up from a blitzing perspective. And then the other cool part about this is you've got that little slant route that is so good against man and zone. Um, and of course you can hit that in the middle of the field if you want to. And if you want to make that slant like a little snap read before you go to the flat, that's fine. You can certainly do that. So like I could just kind of peek it and then go to the flats if I want. So you see here, I'm gonna peek it. Oh, I see I can throw it, low ball it, and it's there, okay? But this is one of my favorite, favorite concepts from five wide. It's real simple. If you don't have hot route master, whenever you motion that running back out, so you can put them on anything you want, motion them out, 
and put him on a smoke. By putting him on a smoke, it's basically, it's not the same, but it's kind of similar. Notice him holding these zones. So you don't necessarily have to have a ghost route, but it is, um, it's just a really, really good route. Let me show you this one more time out of cover three. So, you know, an example of, you know, if you don't have Power Master, he's on a wheel. I motion him out. I put him on a ghost. So you see that right there, our smoke screen, not a ghost, I'm sorry. And then this is cover three curl flat. Watch the curl flat though. Notice that it's going to bail back. And that's why the ghost route's a little bit better than the, the smoke screen. Uh, but anyways, guys, that is, uh, like I said, my favorite concept. If you don't want to motion him out, you don't have to. Um, you'll find that this he'll still hold zones really, really well right there. Um, I like to motion out because, again, it's all about playing chess, not checkers. So when we get a look like this, this is just a little bit more difficult for them, right? Um, if you were, if you were, to, if you were playing cover three and you were to snap the ball right here, and you could do that, you can motion out and motion back in. It's going to make them have to change adjustments. Notice the curl flat's going to play a significantly better job if he's outside versus inside or um, if the running back is, is out versus in. I'll show you that again, and this time we'll run it with um, with just basic curl flat. But anyways, guys, that's basically the video, what I wanted to share with you today. Um, just a really, really good little underneath concept. Again, if, you can ma if you're a trip side end player and you can master the baby dots, the underneath stuff, and have patience, it really is gonna make you very hard to defend in this year's game. One last thing I want to remind you of, if you want to get my full Trips Tied In offensive ebook, there is a link in the description below where you can sign up for that for just $10. $10 a month is going to get you unlimited full access to our Patreon membership. And the cool part about that is it's not just one ebook. You actually get 15 offensive and defensive guides alongside of exclusive updates that we've been putting throughout the year as well as any new stuff, any new ebooks or new updates you will get immediate access to via being a Patreon member. So it's a great place for you to be able to become a better Madden player. If you're looking to do that and want to join the Patreon membership, head on down to the description of the video, click the link that I put down there, and you can go sign up for just $10 a month. The cool part also is, like I said, you don't have to, it doesn't have to be a year commitment. It will save you some money if you sign up for a year but it's just a month to month thing. So as long as your subscription is active, you get access to everything. Uh, and again, I think it's a great resource. So if you wanna sign up for that, there's a link in the description below and you can head on there, head on down there right now and go check out the membership.